In this quick tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of adding yourself to a teacher's course and then adding a secondary teacher, which would be someone like a reading specialist or a GT teacher or a special educator, anybody else that might need teacher access to a course. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my administrative privileges to add myself to the course. So I'm going to come to admin. I'm going to go to courses. And then I'm going to search for a specific teacher's course. Now remember, when we use the search feature in its learning, we have to um, kind of bracket our search with percent sign. So I'm going to start with a percent sign, and then I'm going to search for a teacher. And when I do that, that pulls up um, the teacher's courses. Now for this purpose, there are two different teachers, so I would have to know specifically what I'm looking for. So here's the teacher that I'm looking for. I'm looking for this um, AP World History course, and I'm going to enroll myself in the course. And once I do that, notice the difference between a course that I'm enrolled in and a course that I'm not enrolled in. I can actually go into this course because now this has become a blue hyperlink. So when I click the blue hyperlink, I'm dropped directly into that teacher's course. Then I can come in my course ribbon and go to my participants. And now I want to add a participant. And this is where I'm going to add that other teacher. So I would like to add a teacher as a co-teacher or um, a somebody that needs to have access to that course. Remember, I'm only adding teachers. I would never, under any circumstance, add a student to a course. I'm only going to be adding a teacher. So I'm going to search for a teacher. And here's the teacher that I would like to select to add to that um, AP World History class. And I'm going to change this teacher's role. Now, for this one, this teacher just needs to see the content for planning purposes they do not need to actually edit the content. So I'm going to add this person as a non-editing teacher. But I could add, like if it were a co-teacher, that they were going to do some co-planning, or a GT teacher that needed to add, or a reading specialist that needed to add content or edit content within the course. I would add them as a teacher so that they can actually edit the course. So I'm going to do a non-editing teacher, and I'm going to say add. And when I do that, it shows here that that participant has been added. And then if I wanted to, now I can see there is that teacher that has been added and their role as a non-editing teacher. Now from this point forward, when the teacher that I added accesses his or her uh, course list, this AP World History will now show in their course list dropdown as a course that they could then enter.